Look at the room you're sitting in. The furniture, maybe the art on the walls. Where's your favorite bar? What's your drink? Now think about the last movie you watched. Remember that line? Did it piss you off? What's that first song on your playlist every morning? That beat drop that gets you every time. Have you ever wondered who the hell made these things and how did they know me so well? Culture Hustlers is a podcast that explores how artists are transforming our everyday desires into exciting businesses. My name is Lucas Spivey and I've been traveling around the US in the Mobile Incubator, a souped up vintage camper trailer turned into a rolling recording studio. I've gone 20,000 miles in just the past year and I've met with hundreds of artists and entrepreneurs and recorded the way they hustle out a living, all the highs and the lows. You'll hear from famous designers, architects, comedians, sports heroes, foodies, fashionistas, and other artists on how they hacked out their living by selling culture. High school, I was doing these things and no one was like, hey, Aaron, art school. Like, no one did that. And then my mom... You know, she was a single mom. She remarried, and she was always like, make sure you have a job where you can take care of yourself. Don't rely on anyone to support you. So I always was like, I need to make sure I have a job where I can make money. Like, I can't be in just, I can't be an artist. Like, that's not reliable. I was 22 years old, and I said, you know something? Don't pay me anything. Just give me a piece of the place. And, and so we shook hands, and at 22 years old, I owned a little piece of my first bar. I quit my job at the computer consulting place. <laughs> Um, and then went full out and then ended up in that business for the next 20 odd years. But the, you know, the late nights wear on you. Years and years ago, I'm sure my mom won't be thrilled, but no, so my brother was also in the business, was in the club business. It had his battles with, with drugs and stuff. And at one point we'd put him in rehab and then, so, but it was kind of like a tipping point in my life where I realized like the things that I really cared about was the catalyst for this latest artwork that I did. I want to tell people that they don't have to be anything. Because no one ever tells you that. Like, no one ever pulled me aside and said, hey, you know what? You're not supposed to be doing anything, okay? You're not supposed to be anything. You can be what you want to be. And no one says that to anyone. And you're like, oh, yeah. And once you feel that, you're fucking free. And you can make any decision and follow through with it because you don't have to be doing anything. I'm an entrepreneur, so I know about, fuck it, let's take this risk.